how to add video effects to video online. Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to apply video effects to your video, such as the VHS effect, the glitch effect, the vintage effect, the old film look. And before I get started, here's everything that we're gonna cover in the video with the timestamps in case you want to skip ahead. First, I'm going to show you how to import your video into Veed's video editor, then how to do some basic color correction within Veed, then how to add video effects, such as the VHS effect and the glitch effect, and then finally, how to download your video with its new effects. And with that being said, let's get Get started. So like I mentioned, the tool we're going to be using to apply these video effects is an online video editor called Veed, and the links to Veed are going to be in the description down below. So once we're in Veed, the first step is to click the new project button, and then we're taken into Veed's video editor, and this is where we want to upload the video that we want to apply effects to. So we click on upload the files, then we're going to browse our documents and find the video that we want to apply effects to, open it in our video editor. So now as we can see, it's imported into Veed, and if I click play, as you can see, we have our video within Veed's video editor. So now we've imported our video into Veed, before we apply some video effects, let's cover some basic color correction. To do some basic color correction, all we have to do is click on the video in our timeline, and then we're gonna head over to the adjust tab for this video clip. So if I click on adjust, as you can see here, now we have some basic color correction settings. So we can adjust the exposure, the brightness, contrast, and saturation. So for example, if I want to turn down the exposure a bit, all I have to do is click and drag this down, and then I can just bring the brightness up a little bit like this, or I could do it the other way around where I increase the exposure, but turn the brightness down just like this. And obviously you can adjust these video settings to your liking. Okay, so now let's add some effects. So to begin applying effects to our video, all we're going to do is click on the filters tab in the left toolbar, and then at the top of the filters menu, we're gonna click on the effects tab on the right, and now we have a bunch of different effects that we can apply. So currently, if we play my video back, there are no effects on this video, but let's say I want to add a VHS look. If I click on this effect right here, the VHS look, now our video has this VHS look as it was played on a video home system. Let's say I want a glitch effect. As you can see, I can just select the glitch effect. And now my video is glitching. And then we've got a bunch more effects. We have this old film look. So if I press play, this looks like it was filmed ages ago. And then obviously we have a few more. Now let's say I wanted to keep this old film effect right here. What I can do to give it an even more of an old effect, if I go into the settings and I go into output, what I can do is turn down the frame rate. So let's say I turn this down to, we're going to go 16. A normal film or a movie, a video is usually at 24 frames per second. But if we bring it down lower than this, when we export it, it's going to look a little bit choppy and give it an even older feel. So as you can see, if I press play now, we have our effect. And then once you're happy with your video and all the effects you've added, now we're going to download it. So to download our video with all of its effects, here you can change a few settings in the output tab. I've only adjusted the frames per second. All I have to do once I'm ready is to click on the export button in the top right. V then starts to render my project with its new effects applied and also with the export settings that I have set. And then once it's finished rendering, I can go ahead and preview my video. So as we can see, it's got this old film look and it's playing back at 16 frames per second. And all I have to do now is to download it to my computer. And that is how to add video effects to your video online using Veed's video editor. If you have any questions about how to add video effects to your video, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell. Thanks for watching.